stimulus check update. We're going to be talking about inflation, income, the pandemic. A lot has been going on, especially these past couple of months, let alone these past couple of years. My name is Quentin Banks. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe. That way you guys are in tune with the latest and the greatest information. Today's video, I always tend to... Um, get screenshots from you guys you guys always send me articles you guys always you know keep me updated as well as me keeping you guys updated but it seems like you guys you know there's some topics you guys want to talk about right so we're, go we're going to get into that and this is one of those topics when it came to this inflation the stimulus checks because a lot of people now it's like the flip side of this stimulus check you know a couple years ago past couple years and it's it's really mind-boggling to say that you know these stimulus checks was last year cut past couple years right past couple years get stimulus checks and when it comes to inflation or you know anything of some type of decrease increase is going to happen after the fact right so inflation usually what three to seven years after and now people are thinking or claiming that we are going through inflation now um it's really however you want to look at it, but I do want to let you guys know and inform you guys that when it comes to these stimulus checks, there was a lot of money getting dished out. A lot of money. You got to think every individual in the world, um, or not everybody, you know, people who qualify, like, there was a lot of people who actually got a stimulus check. But anyways, we're going to get into this. Let me know how you guys feel about this. Did you guys ever receive a stimulus check? Are you guys still <laughs> waiting on your stimulus check? So uh, let me know in the comment section. I actually know a few people still waiting on a stimulus check that they were supposed to be getting on their taxes. And I was trying to help them and just trying to guide them. And they, they actually ended up getting their taxes uh, based on the information that I sent them. And it was, it was just little stuff that they needed to do, like verification purposes, you know, just like get, getting your IDs. And it's little stuff you can do, you know, to um, speed up some, some processes. Uh, somebody began to say, does no one realize they printed trillions of dollars for their hedge fund buddies and sent everyone to trickle? All right. Well, they did print trillions of dollars. Somebody said, I think it was about 57000 per person, maybe per family or adult. I'm not exactly sure. They gave us a few thousand back. Uh, must, okay, boom, boom, boom. Inflation takes a while to catch up. Among more recent. Yeah, that's true. Like I said, it, it's going to take some time. You know, for now, we're going to get the backlash of it. There was trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars printed. You know, but it's just one of those things. I believe it helped the government. Not the government, but they helped the society, helped the world, giving those checks out. It helped. It did help stimulate the economy. Like, I feel like everybody, it was a, I'm going to say it was definitely not a good time. Because <laughs> people always say, it was a good time when the stimulus checks. I don't believe it was a. It was a good time, but of course, you just got to make the best of it, you know. Um, I feel like the worldly, it wasn't a good time, but you have to make the best of the situation, right? So whether it was a bad situation or a good situation, it really depends on how you, how you look at it and what you did in that time. Somebody say, if you think it's bad, <laughs> no, just to remind people of what Joe Biden said just two weeks ago. Uh, when he announced a 5.8 trillion dollar budget for 2023 budgets are statements of values and the budget i am releasing today says a clear message that we value okay 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 all right see and that's why i'm not trying to really get <laughs> political here but i'm just trying to address some of these issues i'll slowly screen i'll, I'll slowly scroll if you guys want to you know read these comments feel free to read these comments i'm just trying to get some facts out there
stimulus check updates, student loan updates. My name is Quentin Banks. If you are new to the channel, of course you guys gotta like and subscribe. Today is a screenshot we have from my channel. They begin to say student loans suddenly have what they were. Question mark, question mark, question mark. All right, um, and this is not the first time I've, I didn't heard about this happening. Um, basically, people are checking their credit score based on their credit score or their, I should say, checking their credit, right? So you check your credit, it's going to show on-time payments, late payments. You'll actually see like your school. There's a lot of stuff on your credit, right? If you, if I suggest everybody's go check it out. All right, anyways. Um, yeah, so this person claimed that their student loans was cut in half. As I go check mine right now in the process, I'm gonna keep that on a uh, keep that in the background while this actually loads up. So yeah, they began to say I checked my credit today and my student loans have suddenly dropped from about sixty-five thousand to thirty-four point five thousand. I am on an IBR with a zero monthly payment. I'm obviously not complaining, but what on earth happened to drop? 30k for my loans the idea of uh, being able to pay them off one day seems actually possible now wow and they don't know that <laughs> that really does make a difference like they can really do that like i said i don't know if this is if um everybody's like this i guess i'm trying to i'm trying to check mine in the background but um yeah uh and that's a big difference. That's 30K. And like you said, now it's it's a little possible to actually pay it off because we all know a lot of these um, credit companies, these places, they don't have, um, what's the proper word? Uh, they're, they don't really care about, it seems like they don't care about what students have going on after they graduate, right? You graduate, now you got to pay this whatever this is 200k 100k 300k whatever the case may be and it's like geez give people time to actually you know find a job get in, get into their field do what they have to do and um to have it drop 30k now he's like okay this is more this is more reachable all right somebody says check my loans nope <laughs> uh yes i'm gonna check right now not holding up too much hope yeah i advise you guys like sure go ahead actually while this is playing go ahead and the uh Go ahead and check and see. I'm actually going to check mine. Oh, let me see here. All right. All right. All right. All right. I just I I just got on time payments on mine. I don't like so I don't know. And that's the thing with these people. And that's the thing with these people. You, you don't know. You don't know, right? And that's the thing. It could be a glitch. It could be a glitch. Or it could be. You just never know, right? Um, did you go to a for-profit school? That's where a lot of student loan forgiveness has been going. Nope, community colleges. They may be getting transferred between lenders, so they will most likely pop up on your credit again at some point, which is very true. Uh, sure is nice for now, though. That's very true. And that's the thing. If it's too good to be true, it's most likely too good to be true. And they will probably, like this person said, they can remove it off of your credit. Wait another month or two and you'll see it pop back on your credit. Probably under a different lender or different name or whatever the case may be. Um, especially if you don't know exactly where this came from. Now, it's one thing if he's like, yeah, I didn't pay 30K or I got a grant. I got a loan that I didn't have to pay back of 30K. Now, that's different. To just have 30k missing from the government we know they like to play those games right we all know they like to play those games so with them playing those games we don't got time for that right we ain't got time for that so for them playing those games you just don't know man a lot of stuff could be too good to be true uh somebody said that some of your loans get bought by another loan servicer servicer <laughs> this happened to my friend and they disappeared for a few weeks but unfortunately did pop back 